So people, why did I stop posting and playing Destiny? A question I have seen and have been asked probably over a thousand times. Today I answer this very question. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another Destiny video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So I've been asked, why did you stop playing and posting Destiny? And the answer is quite simple. Now I won't stretch the video out to 10 minutes and 2 seconds along with my explanation. I'll aim for about 10 minutes 20 seconds as it makes it look more legit. But on a serious note, Destiny for me literally changed my life. I mean yes I had over 500k subs here on YouTube before even playing Desto. But at that time I was in reality struggling for ideas in terms of games to play and post. COD was stale, in fact it kind of still is content creation wise, for me at least. GTA 5 I'd had enough of and was really at a dead end. Destiny 1 though changed all of that and with full dedication on my behalf, I saw myself steaming towards a million subscribers earning great great money and this continuing way into Destiny 2. Now Destiny 1 had many many issues, many many dry spots, many problems which did ruin the game for many. So getting into Destiny 2 I was really quite happy at first but it quickly dawned upon me that the game in fact we were playing at the time was just a stripped back version of the game of Destiny 1 in which we ended with. I mean yes Destiny 2 did kind of pick up and looked promising going forward all up until the point in which they introduced seasons. At first I was indeed quite happy with what they were but it quickly dawned upon me that these seasons were indeed as diluted as ever. I mean things were always hard destiny wise and I mean this in the sense of Bungie trying to keep us all happy with constant flaws of content, I fully understand on their part that doing this is the ultimate challenge and the addition of seasons in my opinion is a much easier way for them to release content on what seemed like a big scale but in reality each season being more and more like the last and it is just more and more reskins, it's just on a much bigger scale now. And that is what Destiny literally is right now. I mean going back and thinking about Destiny 1, I can remember when I first beat Aethrian, I remember when I first beat Krota, Oryx, I remember when I first got the Galahorn, the Icebreaker, using the No Land Beyond in PvP. I don't remember anything from Destiny 2. I mean yes I beat all the raids while I was playing it, yes I got all the exotics while I was playing it, but nothing felt quite as special as what it did in Destiny 1. And the whole thing just wore off on me, it really did. But beyond this and beyond the reskins of content and reskins of weapons, armors and the lack of loot to chase and the way it's implemented into Eververse and so much more, it's the fact they would also do sneaky things as well, well I believe they would anyway. And this is kind of one instance but we'll get more into these in a second. Let's say Trials of the Nine. When this was incorporated into the game it wasn't too bad, I mean it wasn't perfect by a long shot, but they took it away, out of the blue they just took it away. They worked on it for months, maybe even years, I don't even know. Then bring it back as a newly reinvented mode and drop it into a game which is on its last legs, which is struggling on a bigger scale, with people complaining about what's going down behind the scenes in terms of content being released. So they dropped Trials. And let's be clear, it's nowhere near that original mode it was, and the whole concept now is just completely off. The build up to Trials coming back on Twitter, my feed was full of excitement, full of hype. Two weeks into it being here, people are absolutely bitching about it. How long has it been back now? All I'm seeing is complaints about it. The loot being wrong, the loot not dropping, and it is just them implementing things into the game which just clearly ain't finished. And another shortcut Bungie seem to take with Destiny is, they create problems like making weapons overpowered, leave them in the game for a month, maybe even longer. People complain, Bungie would then announce they are nerfing said weapons with this next new massive patch which is changing the game on a great scale, what will make it incredible, but the whole patch is them just fixing problems they've created, and they will pass this off as new content and people would suck it in. The thing is, they've been doing this for so long now, and the gaps in between them fixing actual things, when patches actually were applied, it made certain aspects of the game feel new, and because this drew so many people back, this is kind of like a cycle of new content they do, even though they're just changing things where problems have been persistent. I hear the hard light and auto rifles are OP right now. This in my opinion was probably intentional on Bungie's behalf. Let's just dial up auto rifles a little bit because they have suffered in the past, we all know this, which is something they probably could have thought about a long while back. Let's nerf auto rifles, then eventually in the future we can buff them to make PvP feel new. Now people are complaining about auto rifles being OP, they will soon nerf them or nerf them even harder. And what this will do is, when you next jump into Destiny's PvP, something else will be the go-to weapon because the hard light and auto rifles are trash now and it will completely change the dynamics and feel of PvP, hence making it feel new. And that's what they were doing. Make something stupid, leave it brew, then eventually take it away and this changes the overall feel of the game. 
Now this is the problem with Destiny me keeping it off my channel, and it's why I stopped. Not the lack of content, not the shortcuts Bungie take, no no no, nothing like that. It's because it got to a stage of me just posting videos complaining about the game, tweeting my complaints towards Bungie, and in reality just becoming another member of what now seems to be a mostly toxic community, for the most part. And for yes sure, I know there are still many many devoted fans out there like me who want to see the game succeed. But if you jump on Reddit, if you jump on Facebook, if you go to the Bungie forums, the amount of toxic people is unbelievable. If you watch YouTubers like Messer Sean, Houndish, even Datto, the hate you'll see is unbelievable. But this isn't due to the actual content creators, this is due to the game they are covering. And I won't lie to you guys, it was happening to me. Because like I said, it got to a stage of me just posting videos complaining about the game, just becoming toxic, and just posting toxic videos here and there, and that reflecting upon my content isn't a good idea. Yes, posting a video titled Is Destiny Dead is great for views for the first 10 times you post it, but eventually it becomes stale. And so do videos if you're just complaining about it, why not just stop playing and move on? Because it will truly end up scarring your image and your channel, like it did with me. And it's why I moved on, I just dropped it dead and moved on. And this is the reason I stopped playing the game. I mean, I haven't played the game since last year, nor have I posted a video on it since last year. I mean, for sure, I have signed into the game. I've got to that title menu and just switched it off. I miss the game, I really do but I can't fall into that destiny cycle again. Bungie sucked all the fun out of it ages ago in my opinion, and they replaced it with what seems to be now, just a bounty simulator. And that's just it guys, I mean I ain't playing a game I ain't happy playing, and I don't care if it means me losing money. Yes I lost money, I don't care. I did the same with COD, GTA 5 and many other games that I just lost interest in. I mean I still follow many many people who still post the game, and the constant flow of abuse they get and hate is absolutely hilarious. These haters can't just leave something behind, which they once enjoyed in the past. They just linger around, jump upon any action you make, and just really make the experience a bad one. Now it isn't just for the haters and trolls that made me quit Destiny. It's the fact I was becoming exactly that myself. And it's the game that did it to me. It got me into a state of mind where I just didn't care about it anymore. And it really isn't a good place to be when you create content on said game for a living. So a break on my behalf was needed. And while looking back at what I've missed, well I can't really say there's anything about it I've missed or would have enjoyed. The bounty simulator it seems to be right now, with loot and rewards being terrible, exotics all locked behind quests, and Eververse there being a main place to score the best looking loot, and yes I read the latest web, and that didn't convince me either. The game just seems to be in an overall terrible state right now, and I can't see myself coming back anytime soon. It seems now that there are more things that need addressing than what they were when I left off, which isn't a good case because it was a shambles back then. I just honestly hope the reasons behind why the game's gone to shit is because they are working on something else. Obviously this lockdown plays some major roles in things getting fixed quicker, but Bungie have never been quick at fixing anything. The game's been way bad since before coronavirus hit, and if there isn't another title in the works that Bungie are creating, I don't feel there's any future for this game. I feel it will just get worse and worse. Now is there going to be another Big Fall expansion? Well I hope there is, and I hope we see changes that balance the game. In fact I hope it completely separates the balance of the game, being PvE and PvP. That for the most part would sort out a lot of issues many people are having, but it's a change I don't feel the current game could handle. But we will see people. But for now, I won't be back, but I'll never say never. Destiny still holds a massive place in my heart and I do hope the many troubles it does have do indeed vanish within future updates. I mean yes, it won't ever be 100% perfect but it doesn't have to be. It was never perfect. We've never had a perfect Destiny. About 70% perfect though is good enough for me. So when that happens I will be back. Or when they drop the Nolan Beyond. One or the other. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out, and hopefully people, I will see you on the next one.